Okay, favorite Christmas movie. Uh, just going right to the top of the list here? Mm. Yeah, go to the top of the list. We made a list of, of Christmas movies, but just don't even look at the list. Favorite Christmas movie. One you cannot miss uh, a year of. I feel I have three that I'd fall into this category. However, number one, I would put Elf. Yeah. I would say Elf is my number one. Okay, I love Elf, too. Yeah, Elf is number but one for me. My favorite is It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. Yeah, that's got to be number one. I've got that at um, number six. Number six? Yes. Okay, that's well down the list. Actually. You know what it is? You know what it is? I think TBS wrecked that movie because they played it <laughs> all over the time. and over and over again. And so when we were growing up, where we were just probably, what, either late teens or early 20s when Ted Turner found that movie, mm-hmm. and it was like, nobody owns the rights to that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he yeah. ran it 24 hours a day. I don't think that ru- I think that makes it more it associates it more with Christmas. Like I know we've had conversations when we disagree on a Christmas story being a great Christmas movie. I love it. But Ugh. like I put Christmas story uh at right halfway down my list mm-hmm. because it's so one it's, of those that I sometimes I'm absolutely in the mood for and it's great and other times I'm like, "Ugh, I can't take that movie." I love it, but I think part of the reason I love it is because it's it's on 20, 24 hours of a Christmas story every Christmas. And so they just air it over and over and over and over and over again for 24 hours. And I love that. Like whenever it's on, I, even when we're doing something in the house on Christmas and we're not, we don't have the TV audio on, mm-hmm. I just put it on without the audio. So that's what happens in my house with the Hallmark Channel. Oh, the Hallmark I Channel, love the Hallmark which is Channel. The I same. love it. It's the same it. movie over and over and doesn't over matter, again. Though, yes. I know, it doesn't matter though. I watch them all. I watch, I them, watch all, them all. And I love watching them. With the family and being just sarcastic. Yes. We, oh, sometimes they're so bad. So bad. The yeah. story is so dumb and yeah. the acting's so, so bad, bad yeah. that it's just fun to make, a, make, it fun, just of. make fun of. We uh, sit there, like my father in law, we sat there and watched it. I didn't know if he was being serious or sarcastic the whole time. And I looked at my wife and she's like, no, he's sarcastic. Because <laughs> I didn't know because he was so deadpan on it. He was like, there's yeah. no way. These two are going to get together. There's just no way. And they're, too, they're from different sides yeah, of the tracks. They're too different. And, and one of them lives in New York now right. and just came back to the small town. There's right. no way she's going right. to stay here. All right. She's engaged to be married to another guy. <laughs> right. And she back loves in New him. York. Yes. Not yeah. to we saw the same one. That's the one we were watching <laughs> with my father in law. The same one. All of they're the movies all like can that. be described this way. <laughs> yes. That is what you. <laughs> yes. And they're always, they always have some business interest back in the big city yeah uh-huh. uh, by the way on this note i should point out um i mentioned uh, Stu does power hour is coming tonight yeah uh, when's christmas cookie co- well a christmas twist is going to air on Stu does america tonight so if you happen to be if you watch blazer you can go to youtube.com slash Stu does america wearing the entire movie the christmas twist this is a movie that it's we all a fun holiday in. tradition it, it, <laughs> it really, really is funny <laughs> it really is funny and it's a parody of these terrible sort of Hallmark <laughs> style Christmas movies. <laughs> and I swear to you, this is true. We made a Christmas twist. What was that? 2014, 2015? Oh, something quite like a while that. ago. It was, yeah, while it was ago. earlier than that. Maybe. It was on when I was doing Wonderful World of Stew for, mm-hmm. this, uh, for this network. And it's a movie that Glenn is in. Pat is an inc- does an incredible role. Glenn does an incredible role. We have like a bunch of people from the Blazer in it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's a parody of these movies. And the woman has a, a Christmas cookie store, and it's all, it's, it's the same dumb plot line from all these movies. And I swear to you, I swear this is true. They saw this movie and then made a real Hallmark movie out of it. There is one about the, it, it's I, almost I the agree exact yeah, plot of our fake movie. And it's, it almost all happens in the same you know order. What it's called? I gotta watch this. But, Stu, I, I would I just, don't know off the top may of my head. I just point out? Yeah. <laughs> That you just told me you're describing every Christmas movie <laughs> on Hallmark. They're all the same. <laughs> they are the same, but they have typical different things. Like, you know, um, sometimes the business will be like a, a lawyer, and sometimes, you know, they'll be um, a business executive. And then, like in the town, sometimes it's it's uh, they they're making cookies, and sometimes they're making they're making Christmas costumes, and sometimes there's always little like you know bumps in different yeah. directional. Mm-hmm. This is like the exact same movie. They made a real movie out of our parody movie. I want to make a Christmas movie next year. Oh, we should. I want. And I, and I, you know, I said this to, uh, I said this to the guy who runs Mercury, and, and I said, and I want to make it for Hallmark. And he said, why? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. And I'm like, because Hallmark will run it, and 
and we we could do it live with no Ooh. script, just <laughs> ad lib, and every we'd have a Hallmark Christmas movie. And you know the thing I really love about the Hallmark Christmas movies? Most of them are filmed in California, and you can tell because there's snow on the ground and yet strangely leaves on the trees in the background. Mm. Have you ever noticed that? Yes. It'll like be yeah. It, yeah. It'll be, they don't really do the yeah. they don't do that thing that they do in movies where they make sure the background scenes look right. They right. Don't. Like, exactly. They don't. It's, it's likely. It and might be a set that, that there it might be a set like of a town and it just happens to be moving down the you know sidewalk because they're getting ready to film another movie. Right. And all of a sudden there's a town behind them. Continuity like, is not, not necessarily a strong point. It's like you know you're watching a movie from 1845 and a plane flies by. It's like that yeah. type of stuff goes on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the equivalent. In Hallmark yeah, movies. I, I love when the blizzard is happening and they walk into uh, a, an indoor setting and they've got s- supposedly snow all through their hair <laughs> and they could be indoors for 15 minutes. Not a single flake has melted. I wonder if that, wow, that is really frozen snow that can stand up to <laughs> 70 degrees inside. Or is it perhaps, <laughs> or is it perhaps yes. that uh, they've decided they're not going to use fossil fuels? Maybe. And so they are. <laughs> they, it's just as cold inside shop. as it's it is just outside. As, yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, maybe. That's that'd a, be that's the responsible thing to do. <laughs> it would be. It would be the woke thing to do. <laughs> so your number one is, mm. is Elf? My number one is, uh, yeah, Elf. And then my mm. number two is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Mm, I have that at four. Okay. Well, so that's pretty, pretty. No, we're, we're in the, see, again, you're being disagreeable. I think we're in the same vicinity here. Yeah, I'm surprised, I, actually. Then I have Christmas Vacation. I have that at number three as well. Oh, my gosh. So we I mean, should, is, you know what? I'm telling you. Where do you want to go on you vacation? You two should be married. <laughs> where do you want to go? My wife and I, we have, we have, we have the, we don't agree on anything mm-hmm. on when it comes to vacations. If it's not a beach, she's really not that interested. Mm. And, you know, it's got and it's got to be a beach vacation. You know, I'm like, hey, maybe we could go. Nope. But maybe we could. Nope. And, you know, like I want to do things like I can't. Now, I understand this. It's not a beach, but it's warm. I really want to go to Chernobyl. Oh, my gosh. That's totally. It's on my literal bucket list. (laughs) It is on my too. It is. It is 100 percent true. 100 percent like Red Square. I don't want to see all of Russia. I just want to see the mm-hmm. parts where I grew up. It's probably not as, as uh, for you. I'd like to see some things in China. Don't want to eat there. Wait, did you? Are you saying you grew up in Russia? No, grew up. Oh crap! <laughs> I have blown <laughs> cover. <laughs> sure Run! Here is. <laughs> They're on to me. Uh, no, it's uh, that uh, I grew up with the Cold War, and I always mm. wanted to see Russia. I always mm. wanted to see that. My wife is like, I'm not going. Any time of the year, I'm not going. It's very questionable whether you, Glenn Beck, should go well, to Russia. I will yes, say you will I definitely will, get murdered. Right. <laughs> and Ukraine is probably not the best place either. But However, that's it's, Chernobyl. The, it's that's Chernobyl. That's worth, you know, that's worth. I mean, I got to go. I want to see the, the Ferris wheel. The, you know, I'm, I'm oh, all the Pripyat. spookiest places? Oh yeah. That's, that's what I want to see there. Yeah. And you could do it now. You can do it. I know you can. You go to the exclusion zone. I, I know. Mean, that's, we uh, should go. We, we should, should go. go together. I would love. You know this. where I almost went this year? Turkmenistan. That's on my bucket list too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, almost, you, and I was going. I, I almost went, and I was like, I can't go without Stu. If you, Stu would be if so you pissed. went to Turkmenistan without me, I would never talk to you again. Yeah. Now that might be your goal. Yeah. Well, and so uh, I can understand. It that. is an asset that I have to put mm-hmm. on the table. The Turkmenistan, if you don't know, had a, a very, and still does, have a very strange dictator. Uh, that took power after the fall of communism and and littered the... Oh, in- he's still alive? No, he died. Okay. His dentist took so. over the country. His, no, seriously? Dentist. Yes. His dentist took over. <laughs> he's a great... Hermy? That makes his <laughs> story <laughs> even better. I want yeah. to be a dentist. <laughs> yeah. Literally, his yeah. dentist took over the country. Uh, now... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I think you don't just throw that out, you know? Like the dictator of Turkmenistan is up on the roof. You have to break this to us a little bit. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, and then he slipped off, and uh, his dentist is now in charge. Everyone has a plan for succession in Turkmenistan. It's the dentist. (laughs) You know, I think what says Christmas more than any other Christmas tradition or movie 
especially in this time when we need it the most, mm-hmm. Die Hard. <laughs> You know, I think. Is it a yeah. Christmas movie? It's is absolutely that, uh, a Christmas it, movie. It hasn't been to me in my mind until <laughs> this year. I yeah. think we're there now. Yeah, we're I there think now. Die Hard we're is now. now a Christmas movie. Yeah. It is a Christmas movie, but it's a late Christmas movie. <clears throat> it's like when you've watched all the other Christmas movies. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, it occurs during Christmas. Yeah, right, but yes. you don't yeah, you don't necessarily watch that one before Christmas. Right. Like you've watched like, you know, next week we're all, as a family we're all going on a vacation so we're all going to, you know, one of the things we're do every night we're going to watch another Christmas movie and so we do that. And, you know, like by the 27th you're like, "Okay." <laughs> and that's when Die Hard comes in. That's when you're like, "That's a Christmas movie." Mm-hmm. And everybody tends to agree at that point. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I could see that. I, yeah. I, that's a, yeah. I think that's a solid w- oh, yeah. Christmas movie. I think I think I'm I'm kind of on that uh, front. What do you think about Rocky Four? We just saw Rocky Four, the director's cut. <laughs> Where in, is Christmas uh, in that? The uh, the Russian fight happens on December 25th. <laughs> and, I uh, am willing to so, make that yeah. a Christmas movie. I'm writing that down. That's a Chris. That's like maybe the 26th. Die Hard the 27th. I like that. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's okay. if you want to get away with Rocky uh, Four. Uh, Rocky Four. <laughs> Yeah, it's now a, you might say really only one scene happens on Christmas, and it's in Russia where there's no Christmas markings. But if you watch closely, the kids are cheering on their dad with a, he's got a Santa hat on. Yeah. Oh well, there a, you go. He's a, right. He's there you go. I mean, so. and how much Christmas like, do you want in your Christmas right. movie? <laughs> That's enough. And That's you're enough. down to like you know Jingle All the Way or the Polar Express at that point. Mm. Oh, I like Polar Express. Oh, you don't like gosh. Polar no, Express? I hate Polar Express. Polar Express. I like it. I hate I'm it. in the middle on that one. I, Jingle That's all in the my way upper was, section. That was my lowest one. Was Jingle All the Way? Jingle All the Way. Yeah, that's that's that was no chance. That's not even on my list. You know, I, that's not, if that that's, was an option for me, I followed the rules. But yeah. if that was an option for me, I would have done that. Well, that's, uh, that's you know, I color outside the lines. You do. You know what I mean? And uh, that's just the way I am. I don't recognize that. It's not that it's not a Christmas movie. It's just not a movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's got Christmas in it, but I wouldn't <laughs> classify that. The Santa Claus Trilogy. I love them. Really? I, I do. You know, I like them. Except, I mean, two is kind of stupid with the toy Santa or whatever. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, don't part like of it, that one. But I just speed through the toy Santa parts. <laughs> That's almost all of it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of it. <laughs> it's a lot of it. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, and I like the one with Martin Short. Yeah, kind of. Not kind as good as the first one. Right. But, but it's better than two. That's for sure. Yeah. Do you guys watch planes, trains, and automobiles on Thanksgiving? I do. Or not. anywhere, or anywhere around that. That is a th- that is a holiday movie, isn't it's it? It's a holiday movie. It's it's all built around Thanksgiving That's week, right? Yeah, and it mm-hmm. is hysterical. We watch it every year. We don't watch it for Christmas. We watch it, you know, sometime the week before Thanksgiving or whenever. But we have to watch it. And that's that's mm. an all time classic comedy. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. that is one of the funniest things ever. You know, it's terrible and always has been is Home Alone. I, Man, I what a horrible movie that I is. I don't know. It's about just that. dumb. Really? Have your, you your people? In? Your mom oh. didn't realize you were home until she got to Paris. Okay, it's not. Stop I will it. say, um, come on. Many of these come movies on. involve literal <laughs> magic. <laughs> yes. So I don't know that c- but, questioning the plot line of Home <laughs> of a Alone Christmas is a movie. great point. Yeah. <laughs> but considering the universe they exist in, yeah, it, that's yes. important to me. Yeah, that's important. It yeah. is important. And this one, yeah, you've got your, you've got your standards. Yes, I do. And I would not. <laughs> yes. I, it's like Star Trek can be realistic because it's within that universe. Right. Mm-hmm. Home Alone. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. I would have to agree with him. It is a yeah. complete. Well, I, I thought it was a little implausible when they then did it again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Too. yes. Could I ask you a question? <laughs> Whatever. And this is a serious question. Where was CPS, by the way? Where, right. Where were they? It, well, it was in the days before. You yeah. Know, I guess during so. the Reagan administration, when they just mm-hmm. didn't give a damn. Uh, tell me, tell me this. Whatever happened to John Hughes? Because he made a string. I mean, yeah. you think of Big the 1980s, and it's mm-hmm. John Hughes. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I thought of this. I went shopping with my daughter. She was looking for a dress or something. And I went shopping for my teenage daughter. And I'm walking through the stores. And I'm like, this is 1985. Everything in the store right now is 1985. And I said to her, Mm -hmm. I'm not buying anything in this store for you because it's all from 1985. And I made the mistake. And there are pictures of me in clothes that would reflect this spirit. Mm. And it's not like I can give you some sage advice and say, don't have... You know, you can wear it. Just make sure there's no pictures of you because now everything is on. Everything is forever. 
my pictures of me and Tanya with the big hair and the woof. I mean, that those things are kept in an album. You only bring those out for friends. Mm. You take pictures in these. I mean, it's back. Meaning like the 80s style is back? Is oh, yeah. It's like walking into a John Hughes movie. Really? Oh, my gosh. Yes. It was. It mm. is so bizarre. By the way, I have some bad news. He's very sick, John Hughes. Oh, no. We've lost him. <laughs> wow. Thank you know. for breaking that yeah. to me. Yeah. In like 2009. So yeah. In 2009. Yeah. What just happened? 12 years he was ago. Like, he was like just so hmm. young, too. Mm-hmm. How old He's was only he? 50, uh, 59. Wow. So he was young. Uh, but I li- suspect murder and foul play. <laughs> Too soon? Is it too, too, too soon? Is, too soon. Too I, I didn't feel appropriate laughing at that because very, very this guy just uh, um, listen. Listen to this string though. National Lampoon's Vacation. Right. National Lampoon's U- European. Wait, that vacation. was John Hughes. Yeah, he wrote it. Huh. Um, John but, Hughes is for every kind of <clears throat> cheesy kind of funny comedy, especially with uh, John Candy. He made all of them. Mm-hmm. He made all of them. Um, so National Lampoon's so, Christmas Vacation. Okay. Mr. Mom. 16 oh, Candles. Oh, I love that movie. Weird Science, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, one of the greatest movies of all time, obviously. Uh, Pretty in Pink, Some Kind of Wonderful, Plane Trains, and, uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. These are classics. She's Having a yeah. Baby, Uncle Buck. Wow. Um, I love Uncle some, Buck, Like, too. every single one of those, every single one, I don't think there's one in there that I, well, Weird Science, I don't think I've ever seen, but... What, 99% of those movies are classics. Yeah. And then it just stopped. Yeah, what then year just, did the... Yeah, when was his last movie? And then you just like... Or did say. he just start making bombs? Well, he did uh, Home Alone in 1990, then Home Alone 2 in 1992, Home Alone 3 in 1997. Well, yeah, you can't... Does and nothing, like ma- nothing in between those two? Um, we're reading sort of the highlights here. Uh, yeah. he did, I guess he did Flubber. You remember Flubber? Oh, yeah, with yes. Robin Williams? Yeah. Okay. That was not a success. No. That was not, that didn't no. even feel like a John Hughes movie, though. Yeah. Huh. I mean, uh, his were very formulaic and yeah. really, uh, they were full of heart, I thought. Yeah. It sort of ended right around Home Alone 2. He did Beethoven, remember the, do- the big dog, dog movie? Oof. Curly yeah. Sue. Wow. What? Yeah. Curly Sue. I think he took his own life. <laughs> <laughs> He couldn't handle the shame of Curly handle, Sue. He's like, Curly Sue, <laughs> I can't do what it. What the hell happened I've to me? I've tried for 17 to years to live with that. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, yeah, uh, died of a heart attack. Uh, 59 years old in New York. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's so. too bad because he was, he literally, if you, and I didn't know it was all those movies, but I looked, I, I literally walked in to the store. I don't remember what store it was. It was all 1980 stuff. And I said, I'm walking into my daughter. I'm walking into a John Hughes movie. Mm-hmm. And she said, who's that? And I said, planes, trains, and automobiles. And she's like, what does that have to do with this? And I said, all of the clothing. Mm-hmm. It's all coming back. And mm-hmm. run from it, kids. <laughs> run mm-hmm. run from it. Not good fashion sense in the 80s. Isn't it not weird, too, as well, as we talk, you, know, you met, we mentioned Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin, of course, that now, like, in one of the biggest shows, one of the biggest stars in one of the biggest shows is Kieran Culkin, who is in succession. Right. And is like the best character in that show. He's incredible. Oh, in that he show. is incredible. And I didn't put that together until huh. recently. Yeah. And you look at him, you're like, I can kind of see Macaulay Culkin there. Yeah. Like an older Macaulay Culkin. And, he, huh. and Kieran Culkin is incredible in that show. Uh, which is so weird. I didn't even know he was an actor. I didn't even know he existed, Frank. <laughs> I just, I was just, I, you know what? <laughs> I have respect for you on okay. that. Okay, good. I have a lot <laughs> of respect you. for you on that. You know, when people don't know people that you shouldn't know, you're yeah. like, God bless you. <laughs> no, thank you. But you have a life. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for your ignorance. <laughs>